The President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. We may now be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the awarding of incentives for the Team Philippines Medalist, Cambodia Sea Games and ASEAN Paris Para Games. To lead this year's awarding ceremony, may we invite the President. He shall be accompanied by Mr. Bachman, PAGCOR Chairman Mr. Alejandro Tenko, Philippine Olympic Committee President Mr. Abraham Tolentino, and Philippine Paralympic Committee President Mr. Michael Barredo. The first sport is our niece. It is represented by Ms. Jeda May Soriano. The team has bagged a total of 12 medals, 6 of which are gold, 2 are silver medals, and 4 bronze medals. In the field of athletics, it is represented by Mr. John Lee Ubas. The team has bagged a total of 22 medals, 4 of which are gold, 10 are silver medals, and 8 bronze medals. Next is badminton. Represented by Ms. Eliza Isabel Leonardo, bagged a bronze medal. Next is basketball. Represented by Mr. Joseph Emanuel Eriubio. The team has bagged a total of four medals. One is gold and three are silver medals. Next is boxing. Represented by Mr. Rogen Ladon. The team has bagged a total of ten medals. Four of which are gold, five are silver, and one bronze medal. Next is chess. Represented by Miss Janelle May Freina, the team has bagged a total of five medals, two of which are silver medals, and three are bronze medals. Next is cricket. Represented by Miss Simranjit Sira, the team has bagged two silver medals. Next is cycling. Mr. Ronald Oranza. The team has bagged a total of four medals. One is silver and three bronze medals. For esports, Mr. Angelo Kyle Arcanghen. The team has bagged a total of six medals. Two of which are gold, one silver, and three bronze medals. For fencing, Mr. Samuel Tranquilan. The team has bagged a total of 10 medals, five are silver, and five are bronze medals. For floorball, Mr. Henley Pastor. The team has bagged two medals, one silver and one bronze medal. For gymnastics, Miss Charmaine Dolar. The team has bagged a total of eight medals, four of which are gold, two silver and two bronze medals. For judo, Miss Rena Furukawa. The team has bagged a total of 7 medals, 1 gold, 1 silver, and 5 bronze medals. For Jiu-Jitsu, Ms. Estigay Liwanen. The team has bagged a total of 12 medals, 3 gold, 1 silver, and 8 bronze medals. For Kickboxing, Ms. Gretel De Paz. The team has bagged a total of 15 medals, 3 of which are gold, 4 silver medals, and 8 bronze medals. For Kun Bokator, Ms. Angel Gwen Derla. The team has bagged a total of 16 medals, 2 gold, 6 silver, and 8 bronze medals. For Kun Kamai, Mr. Felix Dave Cantores. The team has bagged a total of six medals, one silver and five bronze medals. 
Next, four obstacle race. Mr. Mark Julius Rodellas. The team has bagged a total of six medals, four gold and two silver medals. Next is Pencak Silat. Represented by Mr. Dines Dumaan. The team has bagged a total of 10 medals, 2 silver and 8 bronze medals. 4 Patong Miss April Joy Alarcon bagged a bronze medal. Next, Sepak Takraw. Represented by Mr. Ray J. Ortuste, the team has bagged a total of three medals, two of which are silver and one bronze medal. Soft Tennis Represented by Miss Noel Conchita Corazon Manyalak, the team has bagged a total of five medals, three gold, one silver, and one bronze medal. For Taekwondo, Mr. Jordan Dominguez. The team has bagged a total of 15 medals, 6 are gold, 1 silver, and 8 bronze medals. For triathlon, duathlon, aquathlon, we have Miss Kira Ellis. The team has bagged a total of 6 medals, 3 are gold, 2 silver, and 1 bronze medal. For Vobinam, we have Mr. Herji Bakyada. The team has bagged a total of 8 medals, 2 silver, and 6 bronze medals. For weightlifting, we have Miss Elrin Ando. The team has bagged a total of 7 medals, 2 gold, 4 silver, and 1 bronze. Thank you. For wrestling, Miss Maria Cristina Vergara. The team has bagged a total of 16 medals, 4 gold, 7 silver, and 5 bronze. And in the field of Wushu, we have Mr. Gideon Fred Padua. The team has bagged a total of 6 medals, 1 gold, 1 silver, and 4 bronze. Thank you, and this sum up our awardees for the Cambodia Sea Games. At this point, we shall now proceed with the awarding of incentives to the ASEAN Para Games. In the field of para athletics, it is represented by Miss Sandy Asusano. The team has bagged a total of 31 medals, 10 gold, 10 silver, and 11 bronze. For para badminton, we have Miss Paz Lita. The team has bagged two bronze medals. Now for para chess, we have Mr. Dari Bernardo. The team has bagged a total of 35 medals, 13 gold, 7 silver, and 15 bronze. Next, now is para judo. Mr. Detterson Omas. The team has bagged a total of 4 medals, 1 silver, and 3 bronze. In the field of para power lifting, Miss Maridol Pamatian. The team has bagged a total of six medals, one gold, three silver, and two bronze. For para swimming, Miss Angel May Autumn. The team has bagged a total of 26 medals, 10 gold, 9 silver, and 7 bronze.
for para table tennis, Ms. Lucena Haranilia. The team has bagged a total of 11 medals, 1 silver and 10 bronze medals. Last but not the least, for wheelchair basketball, Mr. Rene Macabengil. The team has bagged two silver medals. Now this sum up our awardees for the ASEAN Power Games. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations to all of our athletes. Thank you uh, very much to our uh, Philippine Sports Commission Chair Chairman, uh, Chairman uh, Richard Bachman, uh, for your kind introduction. Senator uh, Francis uh, Tolentino, who has joined us for uh, this uh, afternoon. Pagcourt Chairman and CEO, Al Tenko. The uh, Philippine Olympic Committee President, Abraham Tolentino. Philippine Paralympic Committee President, Michael Barredo, who you may not know is actually a schoolmate of mine. Uh, and uh, he has uh, used it to his, to his great advantage uh, to uh, uh, bring all of these uh, issues that, uh, uh, that before were not really in the fore, especially when it came to Paralympics, when it came to uh, disabled people. Uh, so uh, I'm glad to see him continuing in that vein. Uh, to our, of course, our athletes. Uh, who have represented our country and have brought pride and honor to all Filipinos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malacanang Palace. Good afternoon. Today, we are fortunate to welcome the latest in a long list of triumphant heroes in Philippine sports. Athletes from the Philippines have surpassed the competition and brought out the best version of themselves, becoming exemplars of sporting prowess for our nation and the rest of the world. But I think the most important thing that we demonstrate, that you demonstrated, as you competed uh, in, these, uh, in these tournaments, in these games, was to show the strength of the Filipino spirit the grace of the Filipino character and the passion of the Filipino heart. And that is what comes out with the results, with what you have been able to do with uh, admittedly limited resources. We are always, uh, I am always a little embarrassed when I see that we are not supporting our athletes and our coaches and our trainers and all the support groups, even the families. Uh, alam naman natin, hindi kayo naging champion na nag-iisa. At maraming tumulong sila para, para kayo ay maging champion. Maraming nagsakripisyo. Yung yun na nga, yung ating mga coach, yung ating mga, yung sino yung mga nagpapakain sa inyo, mga magulang ninyo. Uh, so, it, 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 it seems that what we in government, considering the honor and the pride that you bring to the Philippines, it seems uh, that it is not, uh, uh, it is not commensurate for the great service that you do to our country and to our people. Kaya naman, uh, nagkataon, alam ko na darating kayo ngayong araw, kaya naman nagkataon, nung isang uh, nung linggo, nag gabi, andito po si, ang ating idol, si Senator Manny Pacquiao. At meron kaming pinapanood na palabas, yung mga pa ibang para uh, pa yung mga ibang para-athletes eh, para nandito rin, and they, they, who joined the Paralympics. Uh, they were here and we did a tribute to our, uh, to our athletes. At kasama ko si Senator Manny Pacquiao at pinag-uusapan namin ito. Sabi ko, dahil atleta ka talaga, naintindihan mo kung ano yung pangangailangan. At ikaw ako, uh, sa makalawa, ay bibigyan ko ng premyo o incentive kung ano man ang tawag sa ating mga atleta na nanalo, na magandang naging resulta. At uh, sa palagay ko naman, Tama rin naman. Dahil kayo naman ay uh, nag-perform kayo. Uh, hindi naman nangyayari yan na uh, uh, hindi kayo naghirap, hindi kayo nagsakripisyo. Ngunit sabi ko, hindi lang naman ang mga atlet 
ang nandyan. Hindi naman lang ang athlete. Ang, kaya gumaling yan. Dahil na-train niya na mahusay. Dahil may coach yan. Dahil, masarap, eh, dahil masustansya ang kinakain. Uh, dahil meron siyang access sa mga training facilities. Meron siyang uh, mer meron lahat ng pangangailangan para nga maging champion. Kaya gumawa kami ng paraan at eh, gagawa kami ng plano na uh, susuportahan natin, lalo na basta Philippine team na athletes at saka coaches at saka trainers at saka mga nutritionists at saka Uh, pati na yung mga, na mga driver, pati na yung lahat. Kasi kailangan nyo yan eh. eh ang hirap pang kailangan, paano kayo magte-train? Hindi kayo makarating dun sa bina yung <laughs> yung NLEX. Hindi kayo makapunta dun sa pinagpupuntahan na yung stadium. Uh, kaya kailangan natin tulungan kayo. At uh, kaya naman dahil eh, dami natin, darating kayo rito kagaya ngayong hapon. At eh, lagi natin sinasabi, pinagmamalaki namin kayo. Totoo naman. Eh, pinagmamalaki namin kayo. Uh, dapat naman may, uh, may, may susuklian naman namin ang inyong ginawang sakripisyo, ang inyong dina, dinala na dangal para sa ating mahal na Pilipinas. Kaya tasahan ninyo na sa administrasyon na ito ay gagawin natin ang lahat para masuportahan natin at ipalabas natin ang kagalingan, ang husay ng ating atleta para makita na kung iniisip ko, sinasabi ko nga sa sarili ko, karamihan dyan, hindi natin natulungan. Uh, talagang kung saan-saan na lang kumukuha na suporta, uh, nakakahiya. Pero ganun pa rin ang resulta, ang ganda-ganda pa rin ang resulta. Ang titibay pa rin, nakaka-proud pa rin. Kaya isipin ninyo, kung tulungan natin, isipin ninyo kung suportahan natin. Yun ang pangarap ko na mangyari yan. At masabi natin na dinala kayo namin sa mas mataas na ang mas mataas na standard para sa inyong sa bawat inyong sport at ipinalabas na, na napalabas natin ang tunay na galing ng atletang Pilipino. Maraming salamat at magandang hapon sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a group photo with all of our attendees. May we invite all our attendees to gather at the center and be ready to smile at the camera.